Everybody out there got their lights going. Look at that. A little <laughs> frenzy there to find the envelope. Whatever it takes. There's something under yeah, the Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Where's the, we need to follow the directions. So, Brooke, how you doing? I'm doing well. Good to see you guys <laughs> yeah, again. Good to see you. you as well. And on a big weather day or a big weather week with uh, tropical storms and all yeah. sorts of stuff going mm -hmm. on and our holiday weekend. So, mm -hmm. uh, we're having some nice weather here in those early morning hours, especially I know, Netta, Jim, <laughs> you guys like to run. Good running weather in these mm -hmm. early morning hours with these overcast <laughs> skies. I don't, I don't prefer to run only when I'm chased. So uh, if you want to take a hike or a bike ride or go on out for that run or walk, a good time to do it in our early morning hours because that marine layer is going to persist. All right, uh, today we saw temperatures rising a little bit. We were two degrees above what we would usually see this time of year. Yesterday we were just one degree above, so we're slowly but surely seeing these temperatures come up. And that goes for these evening and nighttime hours as well. Take a look at this. We're in the 90s in the desert areas and still in the upper 60s along the coast, mid to upper 60s in the inland valley areas, that marine layer holding in some of that heat. We're going to continue to see these temperatures rising over the next couple of days, a warming trend in store for us. We're also going to uh, see some increased moisture, which could bring us uh, some shower activity, mainly to our mountain areas. That's where I'm calling for the greatest likelihood of seeing some of that wet weather uh, and just a slight chance, about a 20% chance. So as we take a look at the satellite radar here, you can see clear skies for tomorrow and then into Friday, that's when we start to see the returns. Don't be too worried though. What you're seeing here in the inland valley areas is actually going to turn into a sunny day. Some of this is in the upper levels of the atmosphere. That's called Virgo and it's not going to make it to the ground. It's really the mountain areas I'm most concerned with. That's where we have about a 20% chance of thunderstorm activity, not only for Friday for the 4th, but also Saturday, Sunday, and possibly into Monday as well. Again, I wouldn't be too worried about these inland valley areas. Uh, deserts a very slight chance, but uh, overall, we're really just looking at those mountain, mountain communities. All right, we're going to uh, see some nice weather for the 4th of July. After the morning clouds clear, we're going to see plenty of sunshine in the inland valley areas, partly sunny skies at the coast. And as you can see, those temperatures are coming up tomorrow into the 80s in the inland valley areas. We'll get up into the upper 80s, lower 90s for the 4th of July, and we'll have some nice warm temperatures along the coastline as well. Here's a look at that uh, warming trend. Each day as we make our way into uh, the weekend, we'll start to see those temperatures coming up. Morning clouds clearing to only partly sunny skies at the coast, but plenty of sunshine in those inland areas. A little bit of increased cloudiness for Saturday and Sunday. Also on Monday in those inland communities, but still mostly sunny skies. And here you have it in the mountain areas. That's where we're going to see a possibility of some thunderstorm activity with a little increased monsoonal moisture. 20% chance for both uh, the 4th of July, Saturday as well, and then lowering to just a slight chance of 10 percent chance for Sunday and Monday. Look at those desert temperatures. If you are planning on heading out to the deserts, make sure you have plenty of water and lots of sunscreen. Guys? That does look hot. Okay. Thank you very much, Brooke. You bet.